Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the seventh video on overview of financial reporting, financial statement analysis and valuation. And in this video, we will solve a case on effect of business strategy on common size income statements. But before delving into this case, I want to emphasize that the viewers must have a comprehensive understanding of the business strategies and growth plans of the two companies involved. This includes familiarity with their business strategies, plans for expansion, and how these align with their financial statements, the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. It is essential to have conducted thorough research and analysis on these aspects to grasp the full context and implications of the case at hand. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below and for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is a K. We hope that this video helps students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. So here is the case. Assess the investor relationships or corporate information section of the websites of Apple Computer and Dell. Study the strategies of each firm. Examine the following common size income statement and indicate which firm is likely to be Apple Computer and which is likely to be a Dell. Explain your reasoning. Indicate any percentages that seem inconsistent with their strategies. So, uh, looking at the figures, uh, I would like to uh, come up with a conclusion. And initially, and uh, firm A is Dell and firm B is Apple Computer. So let us dig into the clues and we start with the cost of goods sold. Now the cost of goods sold to sales percentage is a financial metric that indicates how efficiently a company is converting its sales into profit after accounting for the direct cost associated with producing goods or services sold. Let us talk more about this in relation to Dell and Apple. Now Dell follows an assembly strategy where it primarily assembles components sourced from various suppliers to create its product such as computers and servers. Since Dell's strategy focuses on efficiency in assembly and relies heavily on standardized components its cost of goods sold tend to be significant portion of its sales revenue. The assembly strategy typically involves lower profit margins per unit because Dell compete in the market by offering competitive prices driven by official operational efficiencies and economies of scale. Therefore, Dell would likely have a higher cost of goods sold to sales percentage compared to companies that produce more unique or proprietary products. Apple is known for its unique and innovative products such as iPhones, iPads and Mac computers, which integrate hardware software and design elements. Apple invests heavily in research and development to create proprietary technologies and designs 
that differentiate its product in the marketplace. Due to the uniqueness of its product and the brand loyalty it has cultivated, Apple can command higher prices and achieve higher profit margins on each unit sold. As a result, Apple's cost of goods sold as a percentage of sales are typically lower than companies like Dell because the added value through innovation and brand appeal allows Apple to maintain higher price points and margins. In summary, Dell's higher cost of goods sold to sales percentage can be attributed to its strategy of assembling standardized components to compete on price. Whereas Apple's lower cost of goods sold to sales percentage reflects its ability to charge premium prices for innovative and differentiated products that offer higher margins. These differences underscore how companies' strategic choices in product development, manufacturing, and market positioning influence their financial performance metrics such as cost of goods sold to sales ratio. Coming to selling and administrative expenses to sales percentage, the difference in selling and administrative expenses to sales percentage between Dell and Apple computer can be explained by their respective business strategies, market positioning, and the nature of their product. Apple's market strategy is that they invest heavily in marketing and advertising to build and maintain its brand image and promote its innovative products. Despite the perception that Apple might spend more on marketing, it is known for highly effective and targeted campaigns rather than sheer volume. Apple's products are positioned as premium and innovative catering to a specific consumer base that value design, functionality, and brand prestige. Therefore, while Apple may spend significantly on marketing per unit or per dollar of revenue, its high profit margins allow it to maintain a lower overall selling and administrative expenses to sales percentage. Additionally, Apple benefits from strong brand loyalty and word of mouth market marketing which can reduce the need for excessive spending on promotional activities compared to competitors. Dell's cost structure in a more in a more competitive market where price sensitivity is higher. As a result, Dell may engage in more aggressive marketing and promotional activities to drive sales and maintain market share, which can increase its selling and administrative expenses relative to its revenue. Dell's products, particularly in the PC and server segments, are often viewed as commodities with lower profit margins per unit. This can lead Dell to allocate more resources towards marketing efforts to differentiate itself from competitors and attract price-sensitive customers. Moreover, as Dell focuses on operational efficiencies and cost control in its manufacturing and administrative functions, any higher selling and administrative expenses relative to Apple may reflect its strategy to drive sales volumes and maintain competitiveness in the market. In essence, while both Dell and Apple invest in marketing and administrative activities to promote their products, the differences in their selling and administrative expenses to sales percentage stem from their strategic priorities, target markets, and product positioning. Apple's focus on premium pricing and strong brand loyalty equity allows it to maintain lower overall expenses as a percentage of sales. Whereas Dell's strategy 
in a more price sensitive market necessitates higher spending to drive sales volume and competitiveness. These factors illustrate how strategic choices and market dynamics influence financial metrics such as selling and administrative expense ratios. Coming to research and development expense to sales percentage, the research and development ex uh, research, uh, expense to sales percentage reflects the proportion of a company's revenue that is allocated towards research and development activities. Let us talk about it specifically with reference to Apple Computer and Dell. Now, Apple is renowned for its continuous innovation in consumer electronics, software and services, which necessitates significant investment in research and development. The company allocates a substantial portion of its revenue towards research and development activities aimed at developing new technologies and enhancing existing products. Apple's flagship products such as iPhones, iPads, Mac computers and wearables like the Apple Watch are known for their groundbreaking features and functionalities. To maintain its competitive edge and meet consumers' expectations, Apple invests in technology research, product design, prototype development, and rigorous testing. Higher research and development expenses as a percentage of sales reflect Apple's commitment to innovation and its strategy of staying ahead in technology trends. In essence, Apple's strategy revolves around leveraging research and development activities to drive innovation, enhance product offerings, and solidify its position in the competitive tech market. Dell operates primarily in the market of PCs, servers, and storage solutions, which typically require a focus on operational efficiencies and cost effectiveness. Unlike Apple, Dell's approach to research and development is more centered around enhancing existing products and developing technologies that improve performance and reliability rather than pioneering groundbreaking innovations. Dell's products often utilize standardized components and emphasize value and customization which may result in lower research and development expenses as a percentage of sales compared to Apple's more intensive research and development investments. The company's strategy in research and development may prioritize areas such as enterprise solutions, cloud computing, and cybersecurity, aligning with the needs of its corporate and institutional customer base. In summary, Dell's research and development strategy is tailored to enhance product performance and reliability while maintaining operational efficiencies catering to the demands of its market segments in PCs, servers, and storage solutions. So in summary, Apple's higher research and development expense to sales percentage reflects its strategic emphasis on innovation and technology leadership across its product portfolio. The investments in research and development enable Apple to introduce new features, enhance user experiences, and differentiate itself in the competitive consumer electronic market. In contrast, Dell's research and development spending, while significant, may be structured differently to support its business strategy of delivering efficient and customizable solutions to its enterprise and consumer customers. These differences highlight how companies allocate resources based on their strategic priorities and market positions in the technology industry. Next, let us talk about net income to sales percentage. Now, the difference in profit margins between Dell and Apple computer primarily reflect their distinct 
business strategies and market positions. Apple positions itself as a premium brand as we have already talked about, known for high quality products with a focus on design, innovation and user experience. Their products such as iPhones, MacBooks and iPads are generally priced at higher points compared to competitors. This premium pricing allows Apple to achieve higher profit margins on each unit sold. Despite potentially lower sales volume compared to competitors in some product categories, Apple's ability to command higher prices results in a higher profit margin. Dell, on the other hand, has traditionally focused on a broader market with a range of products including personal computers, servers, and peripherals. Dell's strategy often involves competitive pricing aimed at capturing larger market shares across different segments. While Dell's revenue might be substantial due to higher sales volume across a wider customer base, the profit margins tend to be lower because of the competitive pricing strategies employed. Apple invests significantly in research and development to maintain its edge in innovation and product differentiation. Their products often incorporate proprietary technology and design which could contribute to higher manufacturing cost. However, these costs are offset by the premium pricing strategy that allows for higher profit margins. Dell focuses on operational efficiencies and supply chain management to keep cost competitive. Their approach includes direct sales to customers, which historically has helped in reducing distribution cost and improving margins on certain product lines. However, the overall pricing strategy tends to yield lower profit margins compared to Apple's premium pricing model. The Apple ecosystem, including devices, software and services, creates a loyal customer base willing to pay premium prices. This ecosystem approach contributes to recurring revenue streams and further enhances profitability. Dell's market position in the PC and enterprise solutions industry requires maintaining competitive pricing to attract corporate clients and individual consumers. This strategy often results in thinner profit margins per unit sold but allow Dell to maintain significant market share. In summary, Apple mu much higher profit margin compared to Dell's reflects its premium product positioning, higher pricing, strategy and focus on innovation and design. In contrast, Dell involves broader market reach, competitive pricing and operational efficiencies resulting in comparatively lower profit margins. These different differing approaches are aligned with each company's goals to maximize profitability within their respective market segments and customer bases. So uh, this completes the seventh video on financial statement analysis. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. And if you found value in this video, then please like, subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Remember, effective questioning brings insight, which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session, then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah, I will reply you back. Thank you so much and happy learning.